I'm Cassinia Marco, Textile Conservation Advisor for the National Trust and Manager of the Textile Conservation Studio here in Norfolk. This is a 16th century tapestry from Hardwick Hall and uh, it depicts the story of the Roman general Scipio. It's one of a set of eight of these tapestries uh, that hang in the withdrawing chamber. We're just approaching the end of conservation of this piece now, having started from this side and moving towards this end. And you'll see here how the tapestry has been cut where the border joins the main field and several large areas of the tapestry are missing, um, such as this area here, which we filled with this plain dyed fabric. Um, it's a wool fabric which has been specially woven for us uh, to imitate the tapestry weave of the, of the main piece. And um, we've dyed it this rather neutral color so that visually when the tapestry re is hanging again, um, it won't be too disturbing. This cut edge actually allows us a glimpse of the real colour of this area. This area is faded for, by light damage, but it would actually have been this rather rich colour here. Uh, to join these two pieces together will require re-warping in the way that um, we did here. So all the new warps will be introduced to bring the two pieces together and then the dark brown outline will be replaced which delineates the main picture of the tapestry, the central picture of the tapestry from the border. The other weaknesses involve the loss of silk weft and if we just look at this small area here you can see the wool warp threads um, through which the weft is woven. And this area where the warp is bare um, was covered with silk. And you can just see the remains of the silk um, on the side here, uh, which um, are um, linked in with the wool, the surrounding wool area. So the tapestry is made up of a combination of silk and wool weft uh, woven together to form the pattern. And when the silk falls out, you lose part of the pattern and the image. So part of our job is to replace um, the missing silk or the, um, to give a resemblance of what the, the area used to look like. If the warp is broken, then we would insert new wool warp. This is a new warp here. Um, there was a, a, a break in the warp and we've had to put new warps in to make up that missing part. Right. Uh, so where the silk is missing, we will introduce new silk, which we've dyed ourselves, and uh, we will sew this in a regular sort of darning stitch pattern across this area, um, and that will fill in the color in that missing area without reweaving it. And a similar, uh, a similar technique is being used here um, where Lindsay is stitching in a dark brown thread um, which has been lost and this is due to um, the iron mordant that was used originally to produce the colour and over time the iron mordant uh, oxidises and literally rusts the thread away and so for tapestries like this which rely very heavily um, on the delineation of the figures um, and the elements of the design with dark brown outlines. They're like a drawing line. The, if, if they're missing, then you don't appreciate really the, the proper design of the tapestry. So it's important for us to reinstate these dark outlines. Um, and you can just see um, where that's delineated and separated one area of colour from the other so that you can read those um, elements properly. I'm Philippa Sanders, I'm a textile conservator here at the Textile Conservation Studio in Norfolk and I'm currently working on a 17th century tapestry and I'm just stitching up the slits in the silk sky area.
you've got to have good colour matching when you choose your threads. All the stitching that we do um, is going through to this uh, fine linen scrim here that's been pre-shrunk and we make sure that we put slightly more linen behind the tapestry so that uh, the linen can take up the stitches and allow for some movement when the tapestries are then hung vertically again. We can look at the remaining pieces on display at Hardwick and we can um, take um, the, the images from the existing borders but we're not trying to restore this tapestry. This is conservation so we don't mind that the public see what is missing or what is damaged. Um, they have to understand what the, the real original object is.